So we've got to place one of the inequality symbols between each of the following to make the resulting statement true. Okay. So we've got to place either this symbol or this symbol in between uh, the numbers to make it true, right? So, so let's first of all, you know, draw a little number line there just to remind yourself, you know, zeros in the middle and you've got, you know, negative one, negative two, negative three and so on. So, um, and this is one, two, three, right? So here's our number line. Here's negative four, here's negative five. So here's negative five, right? Here's negative three. Now, negative five is actually lesser than negative three, right? Um, so, it, because it's to the left on the number line. Another way to think about it is you would rather be in debt by three dollars than in debt by five dollars. That's a that's a that's a bigger debt. You're more in the hole. You're more in the red there. So that's a lesser number. So negative five, even though it, it, to your eyes it kind of looks bigger, it's actually less than um, negative three. So so negative five gets the little the the um the point and negative three gets the gap the gap is bigger than the point on the inequality sign right so that's what we do there right um so in any remember the inequality sign used to be uh we started the world started with just the equal sign um with two horizontal uh lines that are parallel and then we we take those lines and we do we do that so we can put the the smaller number by the point and the larger number by the gap, right? So, for example, you know, two is less than um, ten, right? Smaller number by the point, larger number by the the, the big gap here. So it's like an, an equal sign that was that was tilted like that, right? Or or if it was the, another way would be like you know, fourteen is bigger than um, uh, five, isn't it? So you would put the point by the five and the gap by the 14 and your inequality sign looks like that, right? So they're not equal, they're unequal. They're, they're unequal and 14 is greater than five, right? Okay, so can you do this one, negative eight and negative one? How should the inequality sign go here? So again, we think about number line. Here's negative eight, here's negative one, here's zero. Right and and is negative eight is to the left on the number line, isn't it? It's lesser. It's lesser. So it, it kind of to your eye sometimes it looks bigger. It's not. It's it's lesser. So that gets the 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 point and negative one gets the gap. Negative eight is less than negative one. Um, and you would rather be in debt by one dollar than be in debt by eight dollars. Right. So so it's it's more in the hole. It's more in the red. Right. Um, so yeah, and you can actually read these from from uh, right to left also. It says negative one is greater than negative eight. Look at that, negative one is actually greater than negative eight. And if you read it in this direction, it says negative eight is less than negative one, right?